Hello mobile devs and welcome back to the rising tide. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this bottom tab navigator with custom headers in React Native. So as you can see here, we have this bottom tab. Here we have three tabs for the for home screen. We have the, we have the home tab, uh, notifications tab and the chat tab. And within each tab, we have a custom header designed specifically for the tab. For the chat tabs, you can see we have this uh, profile button which uh, you, you can uh, send it, make it to be an image. You have the chat, uh, the tab name, and you have this button that you may allow you to create groups or whatever you want to design it for. Now you have this notification tab. Here I'll be showing you how to pass props from um, the screen itself to the header. So you also learn how to pass data from the screen to the header. We have the button and have the text notification. And for the home tab, it's just a home tab designed to be flex with the, the name of the application or maybe the app's name or the user's name and a button that will that you can also customize. Maybe you want to add a menu or a different uh, stack navigator. So that is what we're going to learn in this video. So if you find it interesting, Please subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get started. All right, so here we have a blank React Native project with nothing in it. The first thing we need to do is we need to install the dependencies for our application. So I'm going to come here to the terminal and I'm going to create a new terminal. In here, I'm going to run the command yarn add and I'm going to give it some dependencies for our application. The React Navigation Stack Navigation. So I'm going to give uh, say native. And I'll say what well, we need the, the native stack. Next dependency is uh, we need uh, the stack navigation. We need the bottom tab navigation for the bottom tabs. We also need the expo fonts for our font. So expo vector font vector icons. We need a uh, React Native Safe Area context for. React Native Save Area Context. We need the React Native screen for navigating between screens. So we need uh, the, the gesture handlers because we need to change the way uh, we navigate between screens. I'll also, show you how to change the way you can navigate between screens. So that will be done using uh, gesture handlers. And uh, the final thing we're going to need is expo font for our icons. So because we use uh, button tabs with icons, we have to install the icon library. So that is all. We're just going to hit enter and, uh, and we start da downloading the dependencies. I already have this installed so i'm going to close this and um i'll clear that i'll go back to our application so in here we're just going to replace this view with our navigation container i'm going to say navigation container that's going to import navigation container from react react navigation native and in here, we're going to put our first component for application. So I'm just going to call this one the app stack. You may have other stacks such as the auth stack where we handle the auth screen authentication screen. So this is the navigation stack uh, for the application stack rather. So I'm going to create the component here. I'll say inside the components, I'll create the app stack. Generate the, generate the skeleton for the app for the component and back in the application i'm going to import it that's going to remove that resolve that error and inside this uh, app star component this is where we're going to design uh, create the tabs and all the routes for our application so i'm going to import the bottom tab navigation by coming to outside this uh, a function component and uh, creating the tab variable so I'm going to say tab equal to 
create a bottom tab navigator this is the function it's going to import it from the bottom tab navigation and i'm, and I'm also going to import the stack navigation so we're going to say create stack navigation now if you don't know how to use this stack navigation i have a video explaining how to do a basic navigation in react native so i'm going to link it up up above so if you want to check that out so inside this video i'm going to replace it with the uh, stack navigation so i'm going to say stack.navigator and in here i'm going to have just a single screen so i'm going to remove this text uh i'm just going to have a single screen which is going to be the screen where our tab navigations will be placed so i'm just going to name it uh homes and for the component i'm going to call it home tabs I'm just going to create the component up here so I'll say cons home tabs and this is what we're going to create tabs for our application so we'll say tab navigation for a navigator and in here we're going to create the first tab so it's a tab screen so I'll set the component to to the home screen component we'll give it a name we'll just call this one the home screen and uh, here we're going to give it right now we're going to give it the options i'll give it a header style header title uh, property will give it we set it on arrow function that will render the header component so we'll just be say just going to call this one the header sorry the home screen header header i'll just adjust the indentation for this And we're going to create this component by this component by coming here we'll create a component folder inside the inside our components folder we'll create a screens folder here we're going to create the home screen generate the skeleton for this one and we import it here We we'll do the same the same thing for the uh, header screen. So we we'll create the header folder, and here we we'll create this component. Generate the skeleton for it. And back into our app stack, we we'll import it. Save that, and we have our screen. So I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times for the other two screens. So we have the notification screen. The notification. And this name property is very important because it is what you actually use when you want to navigate to a particular screen. So uh, make sure you name this uh, value correctly. So say notification screen. And... Uh, the notification screen header all right uh save that extent that this is going to crash the next one we have is the chat screen and the chat screen header so I'll create those components so the first one I'll create is this chat screen header. We'll come here to our headers. 
for another new folder and new file. We generate the skeleton for that and we're going to import it here. We have the chat screens. I'm not going to build the content for these screens, however, you can build your own content later. I just decided to fast forward the part where I create this file. So these are just empty uh, files where so you have the header folder with the uh, three headers that are the headers for the screens and we have the screens itself. So that is all we did. Uh, you can see the bottom tab is displaying. So we need to now design these icons for the tabs. So I'm going to come now here into this uh, tab navigator and we're going to customize it. So the first the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set an initial route name this is the route you want to show each time your application loads by default so i'll set it to the chat screen you want the chat page to load each time where the application starts the next uh, property we're going to set is the tab the screen options rather screen options and in here you want to give it uh want to say it accepts the route that is the, the current route that the user is on and uh, uh this function is going to return an ionic icon so the, the the icons for our application so we're going to create ionicons we'll give it the name to be icon name icon name uh, the size we're just going to set it to size which will create these variables in a second and the color we'll set it to color now up here we will now create the tab the tab bar icons so we'll say tab bar bar icons now this is going to take in two properties actually first you have the focus state so you will focus and next you have the color and the size property and in here we will now set it, set it to we we'll select icon icon name to be define the variable icon name and here we're going to pass in a couple of conditions to determine uh which screen you want to you want to render so the first one we will create is uh, this function is supposed to be up here uh, i'm going to say if the route name we say route that name is uh is the home screen so if it is the home screen you want to decide which component you want to render so if it is a home screen we're going to say if icon if the icon name is focus we're going to render or we'll render the briefcase icon And if it is not focused, we'll render a different icon, which is going to be the briefcase outline. Now we'll save that and we'll test it on our emulator to see if it is working. 
so yes as you can see if it is a briefcase icon it is going to render this uh, uh, briefcase uh, down here we're going to remove this in here to remove this um, double double uh, icons uh, headers up there we'll come to this home tab and we'll set the inside the options we'll set the header shown property I'll set it to false it's going to remove this uh, header so that is how you remove a header in a, in a, a screen so back up here we will re we'll redo this uh, repeat this process for the other two screens so saying else if if the screen is a notification screen so we'll say notification we want to render the notification icon to say notification and if it is not the screen we're going to say the notification outline uh, this is a uh, ios notification outline i will do the same thing for the last one so if it is a chat screen we we'll render these icons we call these icons the chat bubble the chat bubble eclipse ellipses rather and if it is not being focused we'll say chat bubble ellipses outline Uh, it says iOS notification our line is not created uh, defined correctly oh, there's supposed to be an S okay so these are our icons now I want to change the color for the, of all these icons to not be this uh, blue color all the time so we'll come after this tab icon uh, object we'll come here and we'll set the the tab bar active team color active tint color and we'll set it to black that means when you, when the icon is being focused you want the color to be black and if it is not being focused so you say tab bar inactive icon inactive color i'm going to set it to this gray color so we gave it this a uh, really light gray color we we'll set other properties such as uh, the tab bar style i want to customize the, the the tab bar style to add more padding to it so we'll come here we'll say we'll give it a padding property and we'll set it to eight and we'll give it a height we'll set it to 65 is going to give more padding to the elements and it's going to increase the height as you can see so um that is it for this uh our so now we, we need to customize the headers so the tab bar is working correctly to customize the headers we're going to go to each uh, header component and we're going to design it so first thing the first one is we're going to come to this uh home tab component where we're going to do the customization for the home tab component here we're going to give it the style the style for this component i will set it to styles.container and for the container we'll set a flex of one give it a width of 100 percent uh 100 percent you say justify content you say center and we'll align it vertically as well uh sorry this is not center this is the space between align item center and we're just going to give it the flex direction of row because we want it to be horizontally aligned so we'll say row 
and finally we'll give it a padding left property to give it a bit of space on the left so we'll say padding left so we'll set it to 15 points so this is all we need to do for the container and he, in here to make uh, the two in components we we'll, are going to create the first view for our components so we'll say view and in here we'll have the text we'll just say set it to give it the name of the channel so you can set this one to whatever you want it can be the name of your application or whichever you want to do i'm going to duplicate that and down here we'll set the pressable now this may be a menu you want to show so you can have an unpress function that will say go to page i'm not going to create this function i'm just going to define it and i will define it here and in here instead of a text we're going to render an icon the menu icon from ionicon so we're going to import the ionicons and the name for the name we're going to give it this grid outline properties uh, sorry grid outline we'll give it a size of 24 and the color we'll set it to black which is uh, in the default color already now we're going to oh it's not views it is view my bad i'm going to start this text by giving it a name so we'll come here and we'll set uh, a star property we'll set it to title so let's uh, see how that looks In here we'll just set the font size we're just going to increase the font size and set it to a value of 17 i'll give it the margin left property of minus 20. this is to push it to let it go back you can also just remove this one and it is going to solve the problem so either you move that one and you don't put this one or either way just make sure it looks visually pleasing to you and now i'm just going to set the font family now for the final product i gave it a custom font of a uh, noto bold which we're going to which i'm going to show you how to get this font and uh, render it on your application later so if you save yours now you're going to receive a warning saying this font has not been imported yet or it's not a system font so we will uh, import that later so uh, that is it for this uh, tab for this uh, header we'll go now to our next header which is the chat header or this one and in here we'll set a similar styling so we'll just set this style to container and for this one we'll also set the style to be style or title mm. Now we're going to import this, copy these styles from this component to avoid repetition. Just going to copy these styles from here and paste it in here. For this header, we have a view. We have two sections. We have the profile section. And now we have the buttons that show the group on the right. So we're going to create those. I'm just going to call this other section the right. You can call it the group section or whatever you want. We will create. We'll create a touchable opacity. Give it an active opacity of 0 0.7. And we'll style it by giving the styles to be button just going to call it btn and in here we only have one p 
text element that renders the value uh the value you want to render here maybe you want to send the passes as a prop you can also pass it as a prop or you render a static data if you want to i'm going to show you how to pass data as a prop later on after this we just create another text and this is where our title is going to go so in fact you just need to move this one up and we'll call this our discuss channel our discuss our screen down here for this right component it is going to be a similar thing as this one except we're going to add some additional styles here so for this style it's not just going to be the beat the btn but also we're going to add in the styles of group since that's our group button and we'll remove this text and we'll replace it with our with the, with the icon we use so we use a font awesome icon with it with, with the name group set the size to 24 and the color to black and uh now we're going to start the set uh, style is not does not exist so in here we were supposed to say uh, where is it oh here we're supposed to give it styles not style okay for the first one is the profile so we start with the profile and here we'll just set Okay, we're just going to set the flex direction we'll set it to row and we'll set an align items of center to make it a uh, horizontally aligned next we have a touchable opacity that is the buttons so we will come we'll just give it a width of uh, 40 point let me scroll up give it a bit of 40 points a height of 40 points and a border radius property now to make this section now you need uh the border radius to be half the half of these values so i'm just going to set it to at least half of those values so to make it to make it a uh, round after that we'll just uh, set the justify content property because we want the text to be in, in the center of the bubble so the justify content property of center and an align item property of center as well and uh, after that we'll set the background color now for the finished product i use a background color of uh, this rgba color so it is uh, this bluish color uh, 255 and an opacity of uh, 0 0.1 and alpha value alpha value not opacity by the way so uh, this is the icon we'll give it a bit of uh i think it looks good so we'll come to this title and we'll give it a margin left property to separate it from the text from the bubble too much just going to set it to 10. okay so that looks good that looks good what else is there so i believe this is everything for this is a component so now we're going to do it do a similar thing for this we'll do a similar thing for this navigation screen header so i'm just going to copy these styles from here and inside our navigation screens header we'll just paste it down here and uh, we'll copy this as well We'll copy this as well and we'll paste it in here. Now I'm going to remove this because we don't we don't need this font property. The right section will change this name to notification. The touchable opacity is not imported, so we're going to import it now. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to pass in the data as a prop. So here I'm going to give it a prop title. So the title will be dynamic. 
so you can use this component wherever you want uh so instead of saying notification i'm going to render that title and then our notification tab is going to not render anything because we are not passing the prop from this component from uh where we have the route defined so uh in the app stack we will come we will come where we have this uh, notification header and we'll set the title to be notification and uh, that is how you pass the prop from this component to this component and you can also do a similar thing with this uh, letter k maybe you want it to maybe if you're in this chat screen and you only want to render the text from the person you're chatting with you can also do a similar thing by passing this uh text maybe you call it a abbreviation and you can render it there as well uh so now i'm going to show you how to import this fonts the fonts we use to uh remove that warning from under there so we'll come to add the root of our application and we're going to import the fonts so say cons fonts loaded we we'll said that equal to use fonts, which will get imported from uh, the use fonts uh, pack library. And in here, we're we'll saying we want for the noto bold font, we will set it to require. And we're going to import this, so I'm just going to import it real quick. All right, so I've created this fonts folder here where I've imported the fonts. I downloaded from a uh, fonts Google fonts icon so you can download the, the fonts you want in Google font icon and import it as I have and in this require we're going to give it the path to that font so we're going to say inside inside a component sorry inside a component there's a fonts folder where there's a font called noto sans bold and if the font is not found so we're going to give it a condition here say if if not uh, loaded font sorry fonts loaded we're just going to return null to prevent users from uh, to prevent that error from showing uh, during deployment during a uh, development we're going to remove that error down there if the font is not found so um that is how you import uh, the fonts into your application keep in mind that you can name this this uh this a uh, key uh, value to be whatever you want so i just called mine noto boot you can also replace it and call yours noto or whatever you want to call it uh so in our app star component i Said I'm going to show you how to change the way you interpolate between screens, like the way you, the way the uh, tabs navigate. Like if you want, there are various methods you can use to. There are various methods you you can use to interpolate between screens. So, in this uh, navigation stack, I'm going to set the screen option. And inside this object, you can set a couple of uh, ways you want, uh, a couple of properties you want to have for your application. For instance, you can set gesture enabled to true. This is going to give you the ability to slide between screens. For instance, swipe left and right to go back and forth like you have on I on iPhones or on some Android devices where you can pull from the side to go back and you pull from the side to go ahead or something. So this is what you have to set. Now you can also set some other properties such as uh, the gesture direction you want when you when you hit the back button. So you can come here and you set the gesture direction. This is going to be the value you want to you want your application to slide when you go when you want to go back so there are several values you can use here you can see you have horizontal that means 
when you hit the back button it is going to move from like from uh left to right you have horizontal inventory means when you hit the back button it's going to move from right to back vertical it's going to move from uh down to um up to down and horizontal is going to move from down to up so these are the properties you can use to um change the direction you want so a very common one is a uh, horizontal which is uh, by default on on iphone so and another property you can set is the card interpolation uh how you want uh, the animation to to transition like uh there are various ways you can set it so if you want me to do a video on uh, this uh, gesture actions like various ways you can navigate between screens please uh, comment it uh, down in the video description uh, comment it down below and i will do a video on uh, on it so that is how you create a bottom tab navigator in uh, react native with a custom header so you can use this custom headers in anywhere in your application so if you like the video please uh, subscribe to the channel to get more it's going to help the channel grow and uh, it's going to give me feedback to know if what i'm doing is really helpful so thank you very much